Now in this set it says that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J are 10 friends and each of the 10 friends were given uh, 1 to 10 gold coins not necessarily in that particular order and out of the 10 friends 5 are boys and uh, remaining are girls. So out of 10 there will be 5 boys and 5 girls right and additional informations are given. So these uh, using this information we have to identify that who among these 10 are boys and who among them are girls and what are the possible number of gold coins the group of boys and girls are carrying right so so let's take the first condition and it says that g is a boy and has seven gold coins an aggregate number of gold coins with the girls is 29 right so this is a very important information given so let me put this g under square and that will denote that it's a boy right and for girl i'll be using circle so G is a boy and he is carrying 7 coins. So the number of coins which we can use is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 right. So 7 coins are assigned to G so let me write 7 here. And it further says that the aggregate number of gold coins with the girls is 29. So if I add the total number of gold coins these girls and boys are carrying then it will be the sum of 1 to 10 right and which comes out to be 55. So there are 55 total gold coins out of which 29 is the number of gold coins carried by girls so obviously the difference that is 26 is the number of gold coins which will be carried by the boys right or the five boys the together the total number of gold coins will be 26 and for the five girls the total number of gold coins will be 29 correct now let's move to the second condition it says that e and f are both girls so e and f are both girls so let me encircle them and third condition is that the following are the group of five friends which has three boys and two girls so these are the five groups given and in each of the groups there are three boys and two girls so using these groups we can identify that uh, which four or which five are the boys and which five are the girls so let's take the first group so in this group we can see that e and f are already girls so obviously these two are girls so obviously the uh, the balance three that is a g and h has to be a boy right so g is already a boy so a will already uh, a will also be a boy and uh, h will also be a boy right so let me just put them in square box right now let's take the second let's take the next group so here we can say that f uh, g a n h so g a n h are already boys so f and c has to be girls right so f is al already a girl so c is or uh, c is also a girl similarly for the next group we can see that d g h e n f e n f are already a girl E and F are already girls, so D, G and H are boys, so D is also a boy and the second last group A, H, D, C and J, so we can say that A, H, D are already boys, C is already a girl, so J has to be a girl, so J will be encircled. Now we are left with B and I, so one among them will be a boy and another would be a girl, so that will be clear by the last group. So it says that A, D, I, F and J. So F and J both are girls. So I has to be a boy. So I would be a boy that will lead that B is a girl. So we have identified that who, who among these 10 are boys and whom, who among uh, these 10 are girls. So let me write the uh, group of boys here. So the boy is A, then it is D, then it is G, then it is H and I and rest are girls. So the group of girls is B, C then it is e f and j right so these are boys and these are girls now let's take the fourth condition and it says that the aggregate number of gold coins of no two boys is eight now since g is a boy and he's carrying seven number of gold coins so obviously uh, no boy would be carrying uh, one gold coin otherwise the sum of the two boys the aggregate coins will be eight right so we can say that one will not go to a group of boy one will go to a group of girls right so let us try to figure out that uh, if the sum of number of gold coins of the boys are carrying is 26 and one among them is 7 obviously. So definitely the rest of the 4 the sum has to be if I deduct 7 from here then the sum has to be 19 right. So we have to find that out of these 8 numbers because we can't take 1. So we are left with 8 numbers that is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 and 10 out of these 8. You have to take four number whose sum is 19 right and that will belong to the group of boys so if i consider say the largest number say 10 if i take 10 as one of the uh, uh, one of the boys carrying 10 number of coins then the total of rest of the three number has to be nine so we can take the last or the least 
three possible number which we can take and that is 2 3 and 4 and we can see here is that 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 9 so obviously the combination would be 10 3 uh, 10 2 3 and 4 right this is one of the combination which we have identified and obviously 7 is the fifth number so we can say that one of the possible combination could be 2 3 4 7 and 10 and that will lead that the balance that is 1 then it is 5 6 8 and 9 will belong to group of girls correct now let's see if there is another combination possible so in this case we took 10 right so now let's take uh, other than 10 so the largest number if i want to take that a group of boy can have is 9 then the sum uh, the sum of the rest of the three number has to be 10 right and if i take the least possible three numbers then the sum is 9 2 plus 3 plus 4 right so if i take 2 3 and 4 then here the total becomes 18 it's not 19 right so what we can do is that we can increase one of the number right so if i increase 2 then it will become 3 so then we'll be using 3 twice which is not possible so we can ignore that if i increase 3 by 1 then then again we'll have 4 used twice right so which is again not possible so we can increase 4 to make it 5 so that this sum becomes 19 but in this case uh, we can see that one of the boy will carry 3 gold coins and the other boy will be carrying 5 gold points and the total sum will be 8 which it is not possible as it says right that aggregate number of gold points of no two boy is 8 so obviously we can say that this combination or combination with 9 is not possible correct now let's take another combination and that is 8 so with 8 uh, if i take one of the number to be 8 then the rest of the three number the sum has to be 11 again if i take the least three numbers then it is 2 3 and 4 so these three together is 9 so we have to get two more so let us so if i increase this 2 by two more then it will become 4 right so again we can see that there are two numbers which will be 4 so which is not possible so we can't do that uh, if I increase 3 by 2 then it will become 5 right so that is possible so we can have the combination of 8 2 4 and 5 correct these are the possible this, this is one of the possibilities and in, in place of 3 if I increase uh, 4 by 2 then it will become 6 right this 4 will become 6 but in this case 2 and 6 together will make it 8 so obviously we have to ignore that so this is not possible so with 8 this is the only possibility and the other case is that rather than increasing only one number by two let us increase two number by one only right so in this case only let me uh, let me use this this space so it was eight two three four and we have to increase uh increase this sum by two so if i increase this by one then it will become three to negate this i have to increase it by one but this will also become four so there will be two fours now right so we can't do that so let us increase 3 by 1 and 4 by 1. In that case, 3 will become 4 and 4 will become 5. But that combination we have already taken, right? And the last combination is that we increase 2 by 1 and 4 by 1. In that case, we will see that uh, there will be two number of 3s we, we will be using, right? Which is not possible. So we can say that the only possibility is this one, correct? So the other possibility that a group of boy can have coins is uh, 2, 4, 5, 7 and 8. And that will leave that the group of girls will have the number of coins which is 1, 3, then 6, 9 and 10. Fine. Now let's try with another combination. Let's try with 6. So if I take one of the number to be 6, then the balance will be 13 minus, uh, 19 minus 6, that is 13. So the smallest number which I can take here is 2, 3 and 4, which is 9. So obviously it is 2 less. So let us try another combination. But if I take 3, 4 and 5, then the sum comes up to be 12 correct so if i take 3 4 and 5 then in this case then the total sum will be 18 and in that case we can increase any one of them uh, any one of them to make it 19 right so i can't increase 3 it will make two fours i can't increase 4 uh, by 1 it will make two five and i can't increase 5 because it will become 6 then we'll have two number of 6 that simply means that i cannot have a combination with 6 similarly with 5 also if i want to take then the least possible combination which i can take is 2 3 4 and 5 and in that case we can see that the total sum will be less than 19 hence we can say that the only two possibilities are uh, these two possibilities correct so we have done with the possibilities we have done with the group of boys and girls also now let's move to the questions so let's take the first question which say that which of the following is a permissible group of five friends that has three girls and two boys so let's take the option one so option one we can say that a is a boy so 
A is a boy, B and C are girls, and I is a boy, and D is also a boy, right? So this is a combination which has three boys and two girls. So obviously this is not my answer. Now let's take the next option, and it says that D. So D is a boy, I is a boy, J is a girl. B is a girl and H is a boy. So again, there are three boys and two girls. We need three girls and two boys. So this is also not my answer. So option C, B is a girl, E is a girl, C is a, also a girl, and J is also a girl, right? And D is a boy. So in this case, there are four girls and one boy, right? So this is also not my answer. So by default, D would be my answer. And you can see that only B, uh, C, and J are girls, and rest two are boys. So option D would be the answer. Now let's take question number two. It says that which of the following is not a permissible group of five friends that has at least two girls, right? So let's take the option one. So it's the uh, we have to just count the number of girls. So B is a girl, then J is a girl, right? So these are the two girls. So obviously there are two at least girls, but it says that which is not a permissible. But this is a permissible group having two girls, right? So this is not the right option. Now let's move to the next. Uh, let's count the girls. So C is a girl, J is a girl, and B is also a girl. Again, there are at least two girls. Here there are three girls, but uh, that is acceptable because we have at least two girls. But again, we have to find not a permissible group. So again, this is not the right option. Now let's look at C. So it is uh, if I talk about number of girls, then C is a girl, and apart from C, rest all are boys. So we can say that uh, here is uh, in this case there is uh, only one girl. So obviously, C is not permissible. Group of friends having at least two girls. So C would be the answer for the question number two. Now let's take the third question, and it says that if the number of gold coins with D and I are two and three, so in this case we can say that we are talking about this particular case, right? The case number one, where the group of boys have two, three, four, seven, and ten number of coins, and the group of girls will have one, five, six, eight, and nine number of coins. Then in that case. We have to find the largest number of gold coins J can have. That means in a group of girls, what could be the largest number of gold coins any girl can have? So here we can say that the largest number is nine. So nine would be the answer for question number three. Now let's take the last question. We say that which of the following is definitely true? So the first is one of the boy has four gold coins. So in this case we can see that one of the boy has to have four gold coins, and in the other case also. uh the uh, one of the boy has to has to have a four gold coins so obviously option a is the right answer and we can check the other option also uh, for example option b says that no girls can have nine gold coins in both the cases we can see that there is a girl who is carrying nine gold coins so obviously this statement is false similarly uh, option c one of the boy has 10 gold coins now this is only possible in case 1 but not in case 2 right but it says that it has to be definitely true so we can say that this is not always true so this is always uh, this is also not my option so obviously option a is the right answer we just cross verified option b and c